Hi there, and welcome to another video presented by One Shirt Doctor Phone. As you're aware, there are going to be many avenues that you can take when you back up data on your iPhone. However, you might face issues in restoring it. One particular error that you face across your iTunes is going to be that usually there's going to be not enough space to restore iPhone backup, which we will be answering in this video. So before we get into the details, make sure to subscribe to our channel for all of the latest updates. Now with that said, let's go ahead and dive right on. Part 1. Check your iPhone storage. Facing this issue on your iTunes is indirectly connected to two different scenarios, which leads to the problem itself. One scenario involves storage issues with the computer, which prevents the backup from actually being restored. For the other scenario, your iPhone can be the culprit itself, as it might not have enough space to accommodate the restoration backup file. However, to counter this scenario, you need to check your iPhone storage, which can be done by following the step featured next. Choose the general settings from the settings app in your iPhone and access the iPhone storage option. Afterward, you can check the storage available and used in your iDevice. You can even delete the unnecessary apps or offload some apps that you need later. Part 2. Best Workaround. Restore iTunes backup selectively. For some reason, your iPhone might not accommodate direct backup restoration from iTunes, and in this scenario, you need to try other options that can actually help you restore selective iTunes backup data to your iOS device. Wondershare Doctor Phone is your go-to solution for this scenario, as it provides a one-click solution to restore selective media back into your iDevice. All you have to do is select the required media out of the provided options, and Doctor Phone instantly restores it without any effort. This unique solution provides a lossless transfer of data, which puts it at an advantage. To know how this is smoothly processed, go through the steps coming right up. After installing the latest version of Monitor Doctor Phone on your system, connect your iOS device and choose it from the interface's left panel. You will then be able to see all the information related to your iPhone and the tools available to manage the data across it. Choose the iTunes library function and proceed with the export media to device feature. Following this, choose the data that you want to transfer to your iPhone and press the export button. Part 3. Keep iTunes and iOS updated. One prominent problem that can be highlighted in the scenario of not enough space to restore iPhone backup is usually having an outdated iTunes or iOS device. For this case, the right solution is to update both to the latest version, which will be discussed coming right up. Here's going to be how to update iOS to fix not enough storage issue. For the first case, learn how you can update your iOS to resolve the storage issue with your iPhone. Most of the unwanted data and other source data take up considerable space and get deleted after updating your iOS. Have a good look at the right way to update your iOS. Open the settings on your iPhone and locate the general option by scrolling through the settings. Then choose a software update feature to let the iPhone look for the latest iOS firmware. Once your iPhone detects the latest iOS firmware, tap the Update Now button. The estimated update time depends on the firmware size and internet connection speed as well. Now here's going to be how to update iTunes to fix not enough storage issue. If you're not able to restore your iPhone backup through iTunes, you might need to check if your iTunes is updated to the latest version. To fix such glitches with the software, it is best to update it by following one of the ways provided next. Way number one is going to be to manually update the iTunes version. So access the help tab from the top toolbar and choose the check for updates option from the drop down menu to update it to the latest version. Method number two is just going to be to open the Microsoft Store and your Windows PC and access the library option from the left panel. From the apps installed in your system, locate the iTunes app and press the update button to get it updated. Part 4. Compliance with security settings. It is always desired to avoid getting your device infected with any sort of virus. For the protection of your device, there are going to be some security settings that you should comply with to protect your iPhone from such vulnerabilities, which are going to be focused as follows. First, you have to ensure that the date and time on your iPhone and computer are up to date according to your time zone. Also, do make sure that you have installed the latest iTunes version to avoid compatibility or bug issues. Do make sure to check and update your Windows and iOS versions to the latest ones to remove all the software bugs from your device. Go through the host file of your Windows PC to ensure it is not causing the problem with the restore process. This brings us to the end of this short yet expressive video on the problem of not enough space to restore iPhone backup. While you've learned some basic techniques to discover the root cause of this problem, you should consider alternatives in such situations. Wondershare Dr. Phone serves as a remedy for restoring selective iTunes backup data to your device with ease, and we hope that you liked our video, so give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And with that said, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, have a good one.